Hey, what's up everybody out there on YouTube? Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief here at Motherboards.org. Welcome once again back to our YouTube channel. I know a lot of you guys get mad and you hate when I talk about my Mac. Well, recently I had to go out and get another Mac as I sold my old Mac Pro and moved into one of the new Intel i7 iMacs. I bought this new 27-inch jobber back here. I paid about $1,700 for a refurb, but it's a really nice system. And one thing that's really good about it is it has a resolution of 2560 by 1440 on an IPS type monitor. Now let's just revert back to that particular subject. An IPS monitor alone is about $1,100. So if you want to have this quality of monitor to work with in any type of environment, you'd have to go out and spend the $1,100. I chose to go with the Mac because I use it as a dual purpose thing. I use my Mac for my music. And now, using a DisplayPort to DisplayPort cable, I'm actually using my PC through this monitor to play all my PC games. So, I went out, I bought this thing, went out and got this little main DisplayPort to main DisplayPort cable, plugged it in, and now my PC runs off this Mac monitor. And that's what I really want to focus on. So you guys who hate out there, know that you know I use Macs for a lot of purposes, and my music is my main one. So I really have to have this computer. It's a business decision. But now one thing that's really awesome is I'm actually getting the best of both worlds. I get the quality IPS monitor of an iMac, and I also have that same quality running off my PC. So check it out as I play a couple of games and I show you how well they look using this new iMac 27 inch IPS monitor. Thanks for watching. Okay, so check it out. Right now I've got what a trailer running from the new game Mass Effect 2. And you can see it's running really great at the resolution of 2560 by 1440. There's no hiccups, there's no nothing. The monitor just looks absolutely great. And I'm running it off my XFX Radeon HD 5970. So we'll get past this and I'll show you a little bit more gameplay. No, Praza, you're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Okay, so here now we're back inside the game. I'll go out and find me some bad guys. Alright, it's got me an upgrade. Always good in an upgrade. Spin around, let's go find some bad guys to shoot, because I know it's what you guys all want to see. Blowing up bad guys. Oh. We'll take care of them. Oh. Oh. Oh, dead little robot. Poor little dead robot. This is a hacking type thing. I won't do this right now. This is actually a really cool part of the game. So if you're playing Mass Effect 2 and you like playing games, Mass Effect 2 is really good. It's a first person shooter slash, you know, kind of a RPG story game. So it's kind of really cool. Let's go back to the battle. We'll find some more drones to kill. Gotta be somewhere around here somewhere. Use overload armor. Uh oh, here we go. Now on this, they want me to use a special skill. Anyways, as you can see, this monitor looks great. You should have respected this. Any PC game that I have hooks up to it. The monitor is automatically recognized by the PC, so you can change the drivers to whatever settings you need to be, and it looks absolutely fabulous. So now I've taken my business Mac and turned it into my mainstream gaming PC monitor. Not bad, eh? So, and plus, if you want to change, Oh, I just died. If you want to change between these two, it's really easy. You just go Command F2. After hitting Command F2, I'm back in business. If I want to screw around again and go back to my games, I just, you know, go back. Very easy, convenient. All the sounds locked into the monitor. One simple main display port to main display port connection is all you need, which means you needed to have a supported video card that has that type of thing. We tried the adapters, none of those work, so don't waste your time. We've tried the big, you know, just standard DVI to the mini, sorry, the, the uh, 
display port, standard to the mini, does not work. It has to be a main display port to main display port to work. But as long as you've got that option, everything works just fine. Thanks for watching.